all right guys now i have a little beat right here i want to let you hear it's a little uh for a bar measure but i'm gonna make it to you can go up there and um hit two on your keyboard which i don't have my number pad locked so i hit my number pad and i hit two boom i got two um i got two bars right so let's hear it All right. First thing, when you're when you're doing automation in the MPC software, it's kind of confusing. But I figured out a couple more ways that that you know that I use it in my in my beat. So what I would like to do is like this mute. I would like to mute this. So what I would like to do is go up here to the the read uh, the global automation. I hit read or write, and I hit it on a W. And I'm gonna let you know about this W right here. This is a good thing and it's a bad thing. I'm gonna show you why. Because when you got the W hooked, everything that you um okay, let's go to the program screen. So let's get the let's get the beat going. Now if I hit this semitone and then let go. Okay. Uh, what it was doing is recording when you stop recording is it'll stop automation so if I hit record up here again and then hit play and then I hit I hit um, pause by hit the space bar and when I hit space bar it just quit the automation and then it resets but this is the thing about this global reading that if you're if you're in the space bar making your beat boom it's deleting your beat at the same time but you can always press ctrl z thank god for the ctrl z god the ctrl z and the ctrl y god thank them so i just hit ctrl z and we're back to what we was doing but i just want to let's do it some more and this time i'm not even hitting record i'm just pressing on the simultaneous um uh, thing right here and I don't want that because if I can just it's just doing that so I will hit global read so it's reading uh, it's reading it it's not it's not recording it so writing is recording and read is just looking at it and just figuring out what you want to uh, do I mean it's looking at what perimeter you want to uh twist or you know uh get the animation from so we got that so now to delete this you can actually go up here and hit uh the s for select tool the p for the pencil and the e for the eraser but you cannot do none of these unless you cut this one off right here so you want to make sure this is cut off keys off and you see you got the keys off now i can hit s i can hit e and I can hit P. So then we got those tools. I usually use S and E for selecting and erasing. So let's let's uh, let you can erase the data by doing this and left clicking over the dots. Okay, you can do all that. Let's hit Control Z guide, and you can hit S for and you can select them and hit delete. And you can actually press P. And you can actually put in your own automation, but it's not gonna correspond to anything but what your grid is set to. So if you can set it to, if you set it to eight bars, you see the grid got fatter. So then you make it more fatter grids like that. And okay, say if you wanna do it very precise, you go on 64 and then you can actually make nice smooth automation but that I wish they had some kind of like um, some kind of interpreting tool where you can like uh, it almost like FL where you get the you can scale it like you know instead of being up here you know you can select it and you can hit a button or something and it'll scale it down here because it stops right here so I have to freaking delete this and then do this just to raise this down and stuff like that so 
uh, know your reading right because you can do automation everywhere. See, let's go back to the kick. Let's freak the kick. Hit right and freak it. So you can do a lot of stuff on here, making sure I hit this uh, read and write button. If I'm not mistaken, there there should have been a, well, it's not on here. I thought it was hit W or hit R, but it's not it. So you got your CPU, which you got your, oh yeah. So if you want to cut your music down right here, and you want to get it set back to zero, you hit Alt and then left click it. Oops. Let's do this again. Yeah, you out. You hit out. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go down here. If I did this, and I want to get the, I couldn't double click it to get it back to the reset uh, value. So I will hold out and then left click it. See? I hold this down, hit out, and then left click it reset. Okay, that's a good tip for y'all to know. The NPC beats. Uh, keep making your beats guys I'm gonna have another video we're gonna talk about something else you know random stuff with me and, and the NPC beats peace out